And this is our sulfur place that we haven't even started doing anything with yet, but now we can get here in like an instant, which is flipping phenomenal. Uh... Angle it a bit higher? Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Dude, this hyper shot thing is one of the coolest things I've seen in any video game. But like being able, like this is awesome. <laughs> this is actually awesome. Being able to set this thing up and just use it wherever we want. Let's uh, there. This is gonna make traveling look so much better. The only thing I'm actually worried about now is power. Like I don't know how feasible it is keeping all these things going. A little concerning. But yeah, I guess if we gotta make more power, that's just another fun thing to do, right? Well, this is my life now. <laughs> just gonna drink some coffee, live in my hyper tube. Yep. Uh, anyway, good talk. Um, is there an, oh, respawn. Okay. Thankfully, we know how to get back there pretty quick, don't we? Mm. All right, let's go. Making power is your destiny in this game? You know it. Boom. That is so cool. We need more power, and then we need to... We do need to angle it more. You're absolutely right. But we need a little more power on that side, too. Just dismantle the inside of the tube. Dismantle my creation. How dare you? Just out of curiosity. How dare you? Um. <laughs> so close. <laughs> so close. Okay. Uh, I can also aim it a little bit better. But honestly, if we if we do that fast enough, I think we'll be able to... Yeah, if we, if we get over that little island, then I think we'll have enough momentum to get very close to our factory. I forgot to get my crate. Oh, I'm just messing around right now. Hmm. Could we do pipes everywhere? We could. We could do pipes everywhere, but I don't really want to. Yeah. But yeah, we, you absolutely can just do hyper tubes everywhere if you want. All your stuff's on top of the, the tube. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna go back. This is the first time we've actually used this. I wanted to see how far it would go. You know what we could do? Oh, I'm starting to get ideas. We could put pipes in the air that would like, that we, oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta think about this, but I, I may, we may have some ideas. May have some ideas. Okay, let's go. Oh, I didn't sprint. Uh oh. Are we okay? Yep. Okay, good. And that's a perfect landing. This one. Oh, missing iron plates. Do I need plates for this? I probably do, don't I? I do. Let's go get some plates real quick. We need to get some more of these Mercer Spheres because iron plates, funny enough, are the second thing that I want to get going in our uh, super cool new dimension system. Oh, I should have just gone and picked up my stuff. Yeah, that would have been nice, huh? That would have been the smart thing. That's okay. We don't really do smart here. Coke, any ideas is how trouble start? Yes. Maybe a ramp will give you the perfect angle. Well, we can always just um, tilt the end. I mean, don't we don't have to tilt it one way. We can do it multiple. So, okay, you should check on your phase two progress. 
I probably should. It's been a while. Let me, let me, before we do anything, let me go get my crate. Let me go get my crate first, and then we'll worry about the rest of the stuff. I think, oh, can we get over there without the, the, I think we can get over there. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Oh! <laughs> Not quite what we were going for, but, you know, it worked. Okay. Let's go over. Oh, normal. I was going to be like, can we pick those flowers up? Is that a new resource? Nah, we're good. If you go fast enough, you just go right through the tubes? Really? That's good to know. We already got the hard drive here. Did I finish Wukong? I did not. No, not yet. Just finished the Space Brain 2 playthroughs on YouTube. What a ride. Dude, it was so much fun. I loved it. I love Space Brain. Great, great, great game. I do want to do some more in that game before we're like completely done with it too. All right, so before we do anything else, let's try this first. Because I'm kind of curious how much this affects it. Oh, that's too much. So all we haven't added any extra power. The only thing we've done is adjust the angle. So that was better, but now we've significantly lost our forward momentum. So I think I think the play is still going to be angling it down a little bit more and adding like two more boosters. But that was definitely a lot better. It was definitely a lot better. Add like five more. I gotta be careful with this, man. I gotta be careful with this because I'm I'm getting a little worried we're just ripping through our power right now. We gotta be careful with this power situation. And I don't even need to be going to these places yet. I mean, the sulfur one I need to go to, the power one we need to go to, uh, the coal one. But, like, we're not really needing to do too much outside of that right now. So, one of the things we can do is I think I'm going to go ahead and break down this too. Uh, after thinking about it, I, I think we are going to do the jump method. It does use a lot more power, but it's also just a lot cooler. That's a consideration. Um... Yeah. Okay. Let's do one more, one more loop here. Okay. For this one, let's add two more. going to do I think a one I think a one we have to experiment with this one a little too let's see how this works before we do any more Um, definitely went in halfway that time.
Now that is much better. Oh man, dude, dude. Okay. Um. This is so cool. <laughs> I can't get it. Like, oh man. Is anyone getting a Notria now? Uh, I think we're actually checking out a Notria tomorrow morning. We did we did a look at a Notria a long time ago. And uh, and I think it's actually releasing today or tomorrow. So we're going to return to it and check out the 1.0 when we can. I wonder if we get a faster parachute later. Dude, this is going to be so good for exploring. When we, like, start exploring, oh my god. This, this thing is going to be amazing for that. We're going to save so much time. I love it. Okay. Boom. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. It's not lined up. No, it's, is it, is it world? Are we on the world right now? We absolutely are. This is the world grid right here. So we're on the world grid here. Interesting. Is our other thing not on the world grid? Uh-oh. Um... Oh, we're missing biomass of all things. Okay. I don't think that's gonna work, but it might. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to test this. We're gonna have to test this. Yeah, I think the cannon, unfortunately, may not be on the world grid, which is not a big deal. I mean, we can we can fix that, but I definitely thought it was. No, 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 no. Wait a second. Wait a second. We did world grid that because we world grid that one to there and it's perfect. And that is definitely on the world grid. So what is going on here? Did I move in the air or something? This should be a straight line into a straight line. There's no reason this shouldn't work. This is strange. Let's try again. And just to be sure, if I go over here into free build, and I hold control to world grid. This is on the world grid. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, that's perfect. By the way, little tip that not a lot of people know this. So get this. When you build your base, right? You just move around and you, and you start building and stuff like that. There is an actual grid in this game that is one to one for the entire world. And when you're putting down your blueprint for the first time, if you hold down control, you are snapping this to the world grid. So if you build on this grid and you build somewhere else over there on the same control, you know they're even. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing what I'm doing right now. So because like I, 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 I'm actually like gritting it out over the course of hundreds and hundreds of squares because I know that they're lining up properly. So that's one of the reasons like right up there. See those? We know those are on the same grid that this is on. So it's a very cool system. Although looking at it, it doesn't. No, it does look that way. No, it doesn't look that way. Wait a second. It doesn't look that way. But if I snap here. Oh, dudes, this one is not on the world grid. That's why. That's why. There you go. That's why. So the ramp was not built on the world grid. And it always prioritizes connections over the world grid. So that's what happened there. That's what happened. Okay. So we need to take all this down. I'm glad we figured that out because that was bugging me. Uh, let's see. 
we're gonna take all this stuff down for now. This this will leave in. Eventually, we're not even gonna need this anymore. But we're gonna go over here, and now since this is snapped properly, because we world gridded it, look at that. You can even see it's like a straight shot. That's beautiful. So now we just need to figure out the distance, which I'm not sure about. So we'll do... Um, This stuff is so much fun figuring out in this game. Oh man, this is this, is, this has been this has been great. Of all my time playing in early access, I never knew you could do that. I know, dude. When I found out about the world grid thing, I rebuilt everything. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, is Ko gonna watch the Starfield expansion deep dive? Nanny. When is that? I'm definitely playing the Starfield expansion, and I hope, I hope so much that it's good. Um, but that's, I don't know if there's a deep dive or anything. Oh, the world grid wasn't introduced until update six or seven. Oh. Huh. Uh-oh. That one. And it's still weird though. Something is still weird about this. Because theoretically, I should be flying over this like perfectly. I shouldn't be flying over it at the angle that I'm flying it over. Right? I mean, if I'm doing it properly. It's just because I came in higher? You think that's it? Okay, maybe that is it. Do I need to move that? Yeah, if, I don't know if we, if we hit the gel from the side, I think that's okay. I don't think that's a big deal. It should be one more to the right. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back and do that now. The deep dive on Starfield DLC is out on YouTube right now. Really? Oh, I didn't realize it was already on YouTube. That's cool. Now you're, you're, when did it come out? When did it get put on YouTube? There it is. That's what it is. That's all. You're exactly right, chat. I was just one off. It is straight over it, and it's just it just needs to be moved over a little bit. This should do it right here, I think. Oh, it was like 15 minutes ago they put it down. Oh. Oh, damn. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe we'll check that out when we get back from lunch. Surface is too uneven. What? My biggest complaints were Starfield is that they were not doing enough Skyrim and the stuff they were doing was not very interesting or well done. No offense. But the thing that I'm I'm really hoping and from what I'm hearing is that in the Starfield expansion, they're going back to more of a Skyrim thing. I'm off again? Really? Is it here? That's where it is, isn't it? I think we landed back there though. I think that's okay. No? You don't think so? Wait, one more to the right here, you think? No. Too far right. Why are people distracting Ko when he needs to focus? Oh, because it's funny. You made it because you couldn't place it. Okay. Oh, because I expanded. Yep. <clears throat> Good call. I blame chat for that one. That's chat's fault. Good one, chat. Jeez. Jeez. That's chat's fault. Boop. Uh, Kotasama, is it error 2000? Out of curiosity? Sadi san says, co sign of aging? Oh no, I've always had a terrible memory. My whole life. Well, significantly after college, but it, it's just getting worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, this should be butter. And then by the time we're done with this, we can start like going out and doing more fun explor exploratorial things. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm always at the same stage as you in my game from two years ago. Do you think I should restart? A lot in this game has changed in two years. So, I mean, I, uh, probably? I mean, I can't, uh-oh. I can't say that for you, but probably. Probably want to restart. Okay, so the reason that happened was because I did not, I got sucked into it and didn't get to run into it. Mm -hmm. What is the error 2000? Error 2000 means your browser crashed the player for some reason. It's, it's, a, it's a bucket error. It does not necessarily mean, um, it's, it's not like a, an obvious fix thing, unfortunately. Yep, yeah, error 2000s have been around for years, years and years and years and years. Yep. Seems to be happening more often. Well, these days Twitch is really good at developing features and things half-assedly. So, uh, you know, with all the stream together stuff and all that stuff that they're, they're jamming in and, I mean, just, if, if you need to know anything about the state of Twitch development, look at the last update to the mobile app and understand that that's how the entire company is functioning these days. Yeah. If you look at the last mobile app update and you're like, how did anyone let this happen? Yeah, just imagine what else is going on in the company. And that made it out. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Oh! Now, it can be better. You know how it can be better? It's slow as hell dripping down in this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna is move it back applause? a little bit. So I actually land further down it because that's how I work. Um, okay. Am I the only one who likes the new Twitch mobile app? I mean, there's some, there's some okay things about it. Uh, like for instance, I really like the idea of the, the TikTok style searching thing. The idea is awesome. And I think if they implement it properly, it could be really cool. But unfortunately, like most of the things that's been going on in Twitch for the last five years, it's a half-made product with a poor implementation. And, and that's where the problem arises. A, a lot of Twitch stuff starts as really good ideas. Like a lot of Twitch stuff starts as really good ideas. But then the implementation either is technically not there or the idea doesn't fully make it into the implementation and then they move on to the next thing and and they, they very rarely finish something um which has been a theme over the last decade and the part that is the most concerning is lately with dan clancy and the reason it's concerning is because dan clancy is really pushing this thing called stream together and it's a pretty terrible product that that a lot of people on twitch don't use and the, and the problem with that is the fact that with when we see things like the mobile app come out with that update, and it's so clear that Twitch has fundamental management and, and, and development problems, to think how many resources they're spending on stream together and knocking and all this stuff, and we don't still have basic functionality, we have half-assed things that haven't been made, we don't even have like AV1, and it's like, and it's just, it's so weird, man. It's so weird. Um, I don't know. Like, it, it's just, it just shows such a fundamental disconnect. Um, yeah, it's wild, man. What's AV1? AV1 is the technology that allows for better streaming at lower bandwidth. Uh, Barry says, AV1 is slow due to lack of hardware devices that support AV1. Do you mean out in the wild, Barry, or... Like that, the, the stuff that Twitch runs on. What, what do you mean by that? You know a lot better than most of us about this stuff, so I'm, I'm interested in your opinion on it. Much better. That's what I'm looking for. Because then when we hit the floor, we can move out easily. Okay. Both ends? Well, okay. Now, again, I'm a layman. I'm a layman, of course. I am by no means a, a tech guru when it comes to this. But I will say that whatever Twitch is doing, YouTube seems to have been doing better for a very long time. 
And and Layman Co. thinks that Twitch could be doing it a lot better with that fact out there. <laughs> so, um, I, I like again, I'm I'm by no means an expert here, but I feel like something can be done better here. Um, that is not being done currently. So, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. But again, I who knows, man, who knows. Okay, so let's go back and take a look at all of the milestone stuff we're working on. Oh, I wanted to add two more things to that. Actually, you know what? Let's do that before we go. Let's do that before we go. I want to add two more power things to this and see if we can... We're going to angle it a little... Ooh, ooh. We're going to angle it a little bit more, and then we're going to um, add two more and see if that gets us back to base. Am I moving to YouTube? No. Nope. Uh, I will be multi-streaming on YouTube soon tm and we will have some some big things to talk about around that time yep uh, but we are not there yet gather all three slug types nice barry can i read that out loud or is that I want to check with you first. Sure, okay. Barry says, AV1 we don't have for very good reasons. The TLDR, you know how many people are complaining about the co-mobile app not working on older Android systems? It's the same issue with AV1. Not enough mobile phones currently support AV1 decoding. The enhanced beta OBS stuff solves AV1 encode and, transmit and transcode. Twitch just has to distribute it. The problem is that pure AV1 removes a lot of devices that can't receive AV1. Okay, so real quick, again, Barry, for my layman understanding here, YouTube gets around that by using multiple codecs, right? Is that not, is that not a thing? Like how, how do I watch every YouTube video on my phone yet still can watch all the AV1 stuff? That's I, like, that's like basically the, the, I understand completely what you're saying with that, but I'm not quite sure if that is like a valid excuse for Twitch not doing it, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. YouTube has like a 10 decoding stream. Yeah. This is super interesting stuff. I, I mean, I wish I you knew more about this. Yeah, Cocolaric says YouTube does not only use AV1. Okay. So the thinking there would be that couldn't Twitch do the same thing? And then we'd all have AV1 who could use it, and then, I mean, again, super basic understanding of this, but yeah. So you didn't have the two more boosters you want to? Yeah, I need I need to get more rotors. I ran out of rotors. Yes, but that's effectively doubling the cost of, of distribution. Okay, this goes back to my point. The point that I was making is that Twitch is using the resources available to them to develop and publicly really promote things like Stream Together instead of putting that money towards things that could then help the platform actually grow. Like better codecs, better distribution, that kind of thing. Now I will say this, as somebody who does not have access to all of this information, none of us do, it would be very interesting if Twitch is so in the red that they are not able to afford doing that. Like, I wonder if it's the kind of thing where even if they took every resource of every project and put it towards that, they would still not have enough to do it. And I wonder if that's why we're not seeing it. I wonder if we're just in this weird death spiral right now <laughs> where where YouTube is like <laughs> growing and getting better and Twitch is just like not able to repair itself, not making enough money, slowly breaking down like an old car. <laughs> oh man, that would that's depressing to think about, but... It might, I mean, that might be the case. That might be the case. 